Hello everyone. So in today's video, we're going to check out the new release of the Light X2 V train for the WAN 2.2 video model. Now, their LoRa models, as we've played with before in WAN 2.1, and also their WAN 2.1 Light X2 V LoRa, are able to run with the WAN 2.2. But right now, we have a real 2.2 LoRa with low sampling steps to run with the 2.2 models, and everything is even getting faster. The quality is able to remain the same as what we used to run with normal sampling steps without the LoRa models, still able to maintain the quality of the video. So we're going to check it out. How can we do that in this video? Now, we have to go to Hugging Face and see that in the Light X 2V Hugging Face repo. There's a new repo in here, and it's called the WAN 2.2 Lightning. Previously, we were using the WAN 2.1 step distillations, which have text to video and also image to video capabilities. And now, the WAN 2.2 Lightning, when you check out this Hugging Face repo, is specified as the train distillation version for the WAN 2.2 video generation model, which is fully compatible with WAN 2.2. Right now, in using this LoRa model, these LoRa models have a series of different types that you have to be aware of. First of all, we have the image to video model and the text to video model. As you've played with the WAN video models and other AI video models, there's always these two types of models. So when you check out the examples in here, this looks pretty nice in some of the videos that they're showing in the demo videos here. And if you scroll up to the files and versions tab, you will see that there are three files currently released. The first row in here is the image to video LoRa models which very clearly shows the WAN 2.2 I2V 4-step LoRa, and this is called version 1. So they put the V1 in here. When you click this folder, you have the high noise and low noise model safe tensor files, which you're able to use to run it with the image to video model. Next, we're going to check out another type, which is the text to video. In the text to video LoRa models, there are two versions right now, and currently, I downloaded version 1.1. When you click into the folder here, you'll see that there's the same file structure as you have in the high noise model and the low noise model files. You're able to download the other three files in here, which are the JSON files for native Comfy UI custom nodes, and this one is for the wrapper on the second row, as well as the MP4s, which are the demos of what it has run as the generated result demos in here. So we're going to try that out in Comfy UI. And as you can see, it's able to speed up the generation speed by 20 times. The distillation model delivers with the base models, and most scenarios are able to run compatibly. Also, the motion, video quality, etc. is able to remain the same when you're using the base model. So in Comfy UI here, I've got two example workflows, a very simple basic image-to-video workflow, and the other one is the text-to-video workflow. Now these two workflows are all using the WAN 2.214 B models to run. This is not the 5B models to run the video generation. Now in here, I've highlighted two LoRa loaders, which is today's main point. We're using the Light X2 V LoRa models in here. As I just mentioned, we're using the high noise model and the low noise model for each type of video generation in this workflow. As you can see, this is a text to video again, and I've been using the GGUF quantization models in here. I was using 4Q quantization, and I also downloaded another one. Interestingly, it's the 8Q quantization. I'm going to try out the GGUF quantized model for text to video in here, instead of using the FP16 safe tensor models, because I know some of you guys can't run the FP16 due to high VRAM requirements, etc. So we're going to try out this, and also, I've generated a video in here just to show you the demo. It looks pretty clean, although I'm using the first video output, and then I use the frame interpolation here to double the frame rate, and I do another upscaler in here to make it full HD resolution. So let's try out another text prompt to see what we can get in this workflow. Okay, so I've generated the video in here. First of all, let's check out the video first. As you can see, we have a pretty smooth character walking on the side here and trying to do archery in the forest. And right here, we have the first video generation using 16 frames per second. And again, I just tried to enhance the quality by updating to add more frame rate here. And I do an upscale on this one. So the full view of this video looks like this. 
This is just generated using four steps and using the Q8GG UF model. Now let's check out the settings. In here, we have the high noise and low noise. Both are using four steps. All of these setting variants are from the example workflow in the Hugging Face repo, and just the first high noise sampling is going to run two steps, and then the low noise sampling runs the remaining two steps for a total of four in this generation. The model sampling SD3 in here is what configures the shift number for the WAN 2.2. Now here, as you can see, it's set differently, setting five for the shift. This is the default for using the Light X2 V LoRa models in here. So when you check out the shift numbers in the Hugging Face repo, you'll get the JSON files in here, and you'll be seeing the shift numbers set to five, and then the sampler settings are set like this. Now, this is pretty normal, and some people will be changing these numbers. I see some are going to use higher sampling steps in the K sampler, and then some will modify the LoRa loader strength numbers in here, such as setting it to 2.5 or 3, whichever way you can test what's suitable for your video generations, or if you want to try out some other configurations, that's your freedom. But just by default, using the default configuration like this, the video quality is okay. Not really top notch, but you can see that it's able to run very stable video generations. All the objects stay the same. It's able to remain the quality of WAN 2.2 for better motions and object coherence, better than the WAN 2.1, of course. And after I add 32 frame rates, doubling up the frame rates of 30 to 16, it even looks better for the motions. As you can see in both comparisons here, for this generation, I was using 1 minute 24 seconds for the high noise and then another 1 minute 23 seconds for the low noise sampling. So next, we're going to check out the image to video. This is something really fun to play with since we can have our own initial frames for the creations. And one of the good things about WAN 2.2 is that you don't really need any specific text prompts if you want to have quick generations of the videos. Do you want to see how that looks? Just put some kind of quality enhancement text prompts in the positive prompt in here, and it's okay to get started with. Once you have, for example, a video like this one that I generated, it doesn't have any specific text prompts to instruct the motions or the character. It's still able to produce pretty decent video quality like this, and here's the next generation of video. As you can see, pretty clear image to video. Even in the first generation, through the VAE decode, we got pretty smooth motion of the character. We have the hands looking very smooth in here, not going to have extra fingers or broken arms or broken hands like some older AI models, and after I double up the frame rate, it's even looking better. As you can see in the side-by-side -side comparison here, the hand transitions and the arm movements are going even smoother when I double up the frame rate. And then after I double up and even improve to push it even further to using full HD resolutions in my upscaler, I have even better resolution, more clarity, and also smoother transition motions as well in this video. So when I generate this, I just input an image in here from my files. And I was using 720p as well as in previous generations for the text videos as well. I was using about three minutes for each sampler in here. So as you can see, there's three minutes in here for the low sampling steps and also the high noise sampling steps. I tend to set it a little higher for the image to video because I haven't put too many text prompts. And just based on the image to video rendering, I tend to set the sampling steps a little higher video generations. That way, we can have even better quality and more enhanced motions as well when you generate a video's output. Therefore, I set the total sampling steps for 10 steps and each sampler is going to run five steps each. Although I'm using five steps instead of two steps for each sampler, it still just consumes a little bit more time using three minutes, 11 seconds for each sampler in this one. So it's not going to consume much more time when you double up your sampling steps. Even by default, it is four sampling steps as the settings, and it's still okay to just spend a little one minute more for the video generation. In my case, for the video generations, some GPUs might perform differently. You have to measure with your own hardware to try that out. But so far, this won't consume a lot of time since we're using the Light X2 V high noise and low noise models for the video generation. And that is so far, that is it for this video. Pretty simple. Just an update for the WAN 2.2 Light X2 V models. 
and this is called the WAN 2.2 Lightning. In the new versions of this model, this helps us to speed up the time and also maintain the video's quality. But one thing I found out is that if we're using lower sampling steps, like four sampling steps in this case, we still have some motions of the character or some objects, but there will be less dynamic camera motions able to be produced when we're using the Light X2 V LoRa models. When I try to generate videos without this, obviously, you'll set higher sampling steps, and then, without the LoRa models for the distillations, it tends to have more dynamic camera motions and less steady video generations like this most of the time. I'm not sure if other people are observing this happening, but it is what it is from my generations throughout many videos that I tried. The Light X 2V new version, one 2.2 Lightning, and the quality can remain pretty nice, pretty good. And after we upscale to full HD resolutions, it looks even better for the overall video. So I'll see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.